me so rise up from all those ashes today Yeah, you were scarred, but you a czar, you can call it to the grave I know you know that a lion's inside, sleeping in your heart Step back and remember who you What up, Pride? It's your boy Mari, back again with another reaction video Today, we're getting into something very different than what I normally react to uh, Bear with me, this is gonna be a long intro So, I have been asked to react to Hamilton for a long time, I'm not gonna lie. And I haven't, obviously, because the idea of reacting to something the length of a movie seemed really overwhelming and also not really a fan of musicals, basically since I was in musical theater as a kid. So it wasn't really something that I was looking forward to doing, so I didn't. But I was recently told that there's rapping in Hamilton, which sounds so weird to my brain, like the musical with rapping, I don't know how that works. So now I'm curious. So we're getting into it. Uh, that's that's really all it took. Also, I, I've heard that this is like super, super popular. People really, really love it. That wasn't enough for me to go check it out, but that paired with like the curiosity around there being rapping in a musical, it, it was enough. I was like, I wanna see what the hype is all about. So I wanna see if, if I actually like this or if this is just something that will be enjoyable to musical fans, like to Broadway goers. So that's what we're gonna be getting into today. If you're new here, definitely make sure to subscribe, not to miss any more reactions to Hamilton. I'm going to be breaking this up into parts. I actually had someone sit and break up where I should be stopping because reacting to an entire movie basically in one sitting is way too much. So I'm gonna be breaking this up into parts. This will be part one. I'm gonna be doing the first three songs in this particular video. So subscribe not to miss those future reactions to the rest of the musical. But without further ado, let's get into this and I'll be seeing all of you guys on the other side. All photography and video recording is strictly prohibited. Thank you and enjoy my show. <laughs> How does a bastard orphan son of a whore? Inside he was longing for something to be a part of. The brother was ready to beg, steal, borrow, or barter. Put a pencil to his temple, connected it to his brain And he wrote his first refrain, a testament to his pain Other word got around, they said this kid is insane, man Took up a collection just to send him to the mainland Get your education, don't forget from whence you came And the world's gonna know your name What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton My name is Alexander Hamilton Okay, so pause. We're two and a half minutes in. Um, several thoughts. One, there's a whole lot of black people in this. Like, I, was not, I was not expecting there to be this much melanin in this video. Love to see that, but I, it's surprising. This is not Mamma Mia at all. Um, or Footloose or... I don't know, Cats, any of the, the multitude of musicals I did growing up that, that did not have a lot of black people in the movies when you saw them. This is, this is, this is real different. So uh, very interesting. I am not going to lie. I didn't pay that much attention in American history when I like, took that class way, way long ago. So I don't really know the story of Alexander Hamilton, which might come back to bite me in the butt as I'm reacting to this. But um, this like lead up part, I guess explaining his backstory, cause clearly he's not 14, uh, is crazy. The fact that he was in charge of a trading charter at 14. Um, they said that he was the son of a Scotsman and a whore. I don't know if that's like colloquial term whore or if his mom was like a, a sex worker. Um, but how did he end up in the Caribbean? Was he born in the Caribbean? No, they said they dropped him in the Caribbean. I don't know. Anyway, the point is, I don't really know the backstory of Alexander Hamilton to know if all of this is true, but this lead up part sounds very, very intense. I don't know how like all of that led to him being a founding father, but it, I, hopefully this will explain at some point. Um, as far as musically, the beginning part, I do 
get a a rappy vibe from it. It is it is very um, rhythmic, but at the same time, I wouldn't necessarily consider that rapping. It is more rhythmic than melodic. Like there was the the first guy who came in. There was one moment where he like crouched down and like sung and hit a note, and you're like, oh, okay. There's like a a clear difference between like the talking sections and the singing sections. But so far, I would not consider this part rapping. That's not to say that there won't be rapping later in this. I just, I wouldn't consider this part rapping. But it is very interesting. Musicals are always interesting in that they are communicating the story in song form, which I find to be like very interesting, even though I I don't necessarily watch uh, musicals on my own. Um, just the, the idea of it is, is interesting. This guy, I have seen his face around different places before, like on YouTube and stuff. I thought that he was the one who wrote this, but apparently like I got that mixed up and he's like the star of it. He, he's Alex. He just said, my name is Alexander Hamilton. The play is called Hamilton. He's the star, like, you know, the titular character. So, uh, that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah. Those are my initial thoughts. We're going to jump back into it. I'm going to try not to make this video eight hours long, but yeah, as stuff happens, I'm, I'm probably going to have to ask questions and get information from you guys if I don't know what's going on. But so far, I am, I'm following and I'm very happy that this video that I was sent has the lyrics at the bottom in subtitles because that helps me follow along with what's happening. Just you. All right, hold on. Time out. Time, yeah, I just said I wasn't going to make this video eight hours long. I lied. It's going to be 16 hours long. The boy was a... So hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. So, so... He was in the Caribbean. Something with a hurricane happened. I, I heard that earlier. I have already like forgotten what happened there. But something happened with a hurricane. His mom got sick. She died. He's an orphan. He moved in with his cousin. Cousin died too. Wait, wait, no. Worse, the cousin commits suicide. What? 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 What the fuck? Okay, sorry. That's... That's not, that wasn't surprising to you when you, when you saw this the first time, that didn't blow your mind? Like, what is, bruh, my, my boy going through, like, the full gambit of main character, like, tragedies before he even hit puberty. Like, his voice ain't even dropped yet, and he gone through all the bad stuff. I'm assuming this is still, like, talking about him as a kid, although the, the actor for, um, Hamilton is an adult, so... Not to say that if your parents die when you're an adult, it doesn't hurt, but it's different when your parents die as a kid. But I'm assuming it's a kid because if he was an adult and his mom died, he wouldn't have to move in with someone else. He'd probably be living on his own or able to take care of himself already. So, um, yeah. Point is, this is wild. This dude's story is wild. That's, I mean, yeah, crazy. He ended up a founding father somehow. That's, let's continue. I started retreating and reading every tree. Okay, all right. If me pausing is going to bother you, this is probably not the reaction series of videos for you because I got, I got a lot to say. They're doing a lot of stuff that, that is, is moving me, so I got a, I got a speech about it, okay? Um, one, where in the Caribbean did he come from? Two, how did he get to New York? I guess, like, saving money from working as a clerk for the landlord of his mom. Three, the vocals on this are giving. Like, I, I knew 
it's, it's a Broadway musical. Like, all of the actors can really, really sing. But, like, these little harmony moments, and then, like, here in the Alexander Hamilton where they're all, like, lined up, it's fire. It's fire, dude. It's fire. It's, again, so far, I wouldn't consider anything that has happened in this particular song to be rapping specifically. I don't know when the rapping is supposed to come in, but so far, the dialogue parts are informative, and the singing parts are great, if that makes sense. And so, um, really, really enjoying this. Also, the storytelling that's happening in the choreography from, like, his mom being, like, laid out, and then, like, when she dies, the, like the way they like drift her down, the cousin getting up on the chair and like hanging himself, him changing out his coat as he becomes a new man. There's like a lot of like, which again, it's a musical. So like you have to tell the story visually as well as like musically, but still I'm seeing some of the like visual tidbits that are happening in the video or I keep calling it a video in the musical. And I think that that's really, really dope. There was one other thing that I wanted to say, but I, I can't remember what it is. So I'm going to just jump back into the video. But the point is, I, I like this already uh, for none of the reasons I expected to like it coming into it. But it's 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 objectively good, you know? I trusted him. Me, I loved him. And me, I'm the damn fool that shot him. What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton. I heard your name at Princeton. I was seeking an accelerated course of study. When I got sort of out of sorts with a buddy of I may have punched him. It's a blur, sir. He handles the financials. You punched the bursar. Yes, I wanted to do what you. The lyricism in this is really, really dope. Like bursar, bursar. That's like, that's dope. Homophones. Uh, would it be a homophone because burr and sir are two separate words, and then bursar is one word? I don't know, but you get the point. They they sound similar, but they mean different things. Uh, and that would, if they were one word, be be homophones um also the fact that this guy just told me in the last song that he shoots him now i'm looking at him suspect like i'm like alex run away why are you why are you going to go talk to this dude he gonna shoot you i think that whole initial first song kind of like summarizes his life because like we get like the girls that uh loved him the man who trusted him the some guy dies for him i think two of those guys said they fought with him this guy definitely said he shot him. I saw that part, that's for sure. So I think, like, at the beginning of the song, we get, like, him as a kid all the way up to, like, maybe his death. I don't know if he dies from this shooting. Back in that day, like, you get shot in your thigh and you're done. It's over for you. You're gone. You're meeting the creator. So maybe that's, like, a, a plot summary. I don't, I don't know. So I don't know if this guy is a villain character and that just like comes to Alex's attention later or if it's like a betrayal situation or revenge, but I'm like sucked into the fact that this dude said that he shoots Alex later and now, now Alex is like coming to him for help. I don't know. That's, that's a little, it's a, it's a good hook. I mean, we're at the beginning and now, now I got to see it through, but like also Kind of, kind of intense, right? I may have punched him. It's a blur, <laughs> sir. He handles the financials. You punched the bursa. Yes, I wanted to do what you did. Graduate in two, then join the revolution. He looked at me like I was stupid. I'm not stupid. While we're talking, let me offer you some free advice. Talk less. What? Smile more. Ah. Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. Fools who run their mouths off wind up dead. Yo, 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 what time is it? Showtime! Go! I'm John Lawrence in the place to be. A two pints of Sam Adams, but I'm working on three. And we we mon ami, je me fais la faillette. The Lancelot of the Revolutionary Set. I came from afar just to say bonsoir to the king, to the twelve. He's the best. 
chick said more. I am Hercules Mulligan, up in it, loving it. Yes, I heard your mother say, come again. Like up your habits and horses. Of course, you're talking to heaven to court of a four-set to corset. Oh, no more sex for me another bruise. Son, let's raise a couple more. To the revolution. Good luck with that, you're taking a stand. You spit, I'm a sit, we'll see where we land. Oh, the revolution's imminent, what do you stall for? If you stand for nothing, Burr, what will you fall for? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Okay, so, um, yeah, that was... That was heat. That was that was fire. What you want me to say? Like you want me to? Yeah, I, I was. That was that was that was crazy. I wasn't expecting that. The song turned into like a completely different genre when they went into the the bar, or the tavern, or wherever they are. I don't know what you, what you call this, but yeah, when it was when it was Alex and Burr, they were like kind of talking over music, right? Uh, but the music was energetically and genre-wise very different from what eventually happened as we got these like additional characters introduced. Or I don't know if you consider them introduced because at least two of these guys were in the uh, initial song. But they have like a, a legit part here. One of them said their name. I don't I don't remember. But the, the point is that uh, we get like more character development i guess from these characters in this section and the fact that the music changes to kind of fit that i think is very interesting they were obviously very much rapping in that section one the one dude on the the far left over here uh with the blue like suede kind of i don't know what the, what you call that trench coat uh he has a french accent which is really interesting uh, the dude in the green sounded like he might have been like a little a little Jamaican or something, a little Caribbean or something. Although Alex is from the Caribbean, so that that would make sense. Uh, regardless, the point is, it was a, this was a very interesting scene. Me personally, I found this scene like more engaging than the scene right before it when Alex and uh, Burr were talking. But for whatever reason, this Aaron Burr dude does not seem to like really rock with them. He don't. I get what he's saying, where it's like well, you're. Talking about revolution, like you, that could get you killed. You could end up dead. Um, now, obviously, we know that like it ended up working out for the Americans, but um, or the at the at the time they were just the colonists. But I get his hesitancy. But it is interesting that it seems like Alex is more of a similar mindset with these people, which may be why this bird dude shot him. I don't know if you could tell that's, that was a big deal for me. Okay. So I'm, I'm very much that's in the back of my brain with everything else that's happening until he gets shot basically. But yeah, earlier he was talking about like, uh, wish there was a war so that we could prove ourselves, which by the way is kind of wild. My, my boy is ambitious but uh kind of crazy he's he's kind of crazy that's a crazy thing to say but this is this is very interesting definitely different than like i don't know me and footloose at 13 <laughs> so um yeah yeah let's 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 continue i'm john lawrence in the place to be a two pints of sam adams but i'm working on three if you stand for nothing burr what will you fall for who are you who are you who are you who is this here what's he gonna do i am not throwing away my shot i am not throwing away my shot hey yo i'm just like my country i'm young scrappy and hungry and i'm not throwing away my shot i probably shouldn't brag but dad our names and astonish the problem is i got a lot of brains but no polish i got a holler just to be heard with every word i drop knowledge i'm a diamond in the rough a shiny piece of coal trying to reach my goal my power of speech unimpeachable only 19 but my mind is older these new york city streets get cold i shoulder every burden every disadvantage i've learned to manage i don't have a gun to brandish i walk these streets famished the plan is to fan this fork into a flame but damn it's getting dark so let me spell out the name i am the a colony that runs independently meanwhile britain keeps shitting on us endlessly it's dog 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 wait a minute wait wait a minute 
How, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. I can't, I can't even watch like 12 seconds of this without like some, some stank face moment happening. He's spitting, okay, he rapping, he rapping. I, the first song, the first song, yeah, there was, there was more soul talk. He rapping right now, okay? I need y'all to feel me right now. My boy going in. Um, I like that this like main character, Alexander Hamilton dude, uh, in his particular part is kind of laying out some of the issues that I guess he or just in general the colonists had being a colony uh, and being under British rule. For example, the excessive taxes. And I feel like the way that this is, is structured is very intelligently crafted as far as like being able to communicate this story in a rapping form. Telling a story in songwriting is not an easy thing to do. It's even harder when you're trying to rap because rapping is a lot less free form in the like rhyme schemes and stuff that people typically use. Based on what I was hearing, I think this is more of like an A A A A B B B B rhyme scheme where like several lines in a row rhyme with each other. It'll be like a chunk, like a say a passage of lines that rhyme with each other and telling a story in that way is a lot more difficult than just like writing a script. And so, uh, yeah, this is, this is impressive to me, not just because he is rapping, but like also what he is rapping about. And I just think it's dope. I think it's dope. The, the writing on this is really, really good. And the music is dope in the back. I haven't really been touching on the music up until this point because there's like literally so much going on, uh, which is very different <laughs> from like my typical videos. But um, yeah, this is, this is crazy. This is insane. Like, like actually insane. And I, I get it. I get why people like this so much. We're in what, song two? And I'm just like going crazy, but also, in my defense, they're going crazy. I feel like it's warranted, you know? Oh, well, apparently I'm on song three. Didn't even notice it. Uh, stop at 1320. Okay, this video is going to be a billion years long. Pajama diamond in the rough, a shiny piece of coal. Only 19, but my mind is over. These New York City streets get cold. I shoulder every burden, every disadvantage. I've learned to manage. I don't have a gun to brandish. I walk these streets famished. The plan is to fan this fork into a flame. But damn, it's getting dark. Endlessly, essentially, they tax us relentlessly. And King George turns around, runs a spend this free. And to me, he says in parentheses, don't be shocked when your history book mentions me. And I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. And I'm not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. And I'm not throwing away my shot. It's time to take a shot. I dream of life without a monarchy. The unrest in France will lead to anarchy. Anarchy, are you say? Are you all oh, anarchy? <laughs> and I fight the other side panicky with my shots. And I got John Knuckleheads and local parentis. Oh. I'm joining the rebellion, cause I know it's my chance to socially advance. It's dead as so it's the pants are gonna take a shot. But we'll never be truly free until those in bondage have the same rights as you and me. You and I do or die. Wait till I sally in on a stallion with the first black battalion. Have another shot. Geniuses, lower your voices. You keep out of trouble and you double your choices. I'm with you, but the situation is fraught. You've got to be carefully taught. If you talk, you're going to get shot. Uh, uh, nope, nope, nope. You don't get to say that, Mr. Burr. No, no. You are, you the one doing the shooting, okay? You a double agent. I don't like it. I don't. Nope, nope, time out. Get him out the game, coach. I don't, mm -mm. can't be going around warning people. If you talk too much, you're going to get shot. Yeah, yeah, we know. You know, don't you? Yeah, that's foreshadowing right there. I wish they wouldn't have told me that, that he shot him later because everything he says, I'm just like, you're an op. You're a spy. You're, play, play the Among Us noise. Because he's, no, I don't like him. I'm not, I'm not cool with him. He got, he got a cool little part thing in his hair, but that's, that's not the point. I don't know. You don't, you don't get to say, oh yeah, I'm with y'all. But if you talk too much, you don't get shot and you shoot somebody. You, you see what I'm saying? Pop meat kettle. Anyway, I really like this one. This like particular song right here. I think the, uh, I think the beginning, the, the first song 
when we first get introduced to everybody is uh vocally like singing wise my favorite because like we had like all of these like it's like a huge chorus of uh, all these people singing really really well but this one i think lyrically is just beautiful beautiful and um i don't know where when like it transitioned into this song i checked my breakdown of where i'm supposed to be stopping what songs i'm reacting to in each part and uh this is apparently song three i don't i don't know what when or where song two happened but um this this one right here is is fire this i, I mean i'm enjoying this one a lot and um I feel like they're they're cramming so much plot <laughs> into the the song and um it's really it's it's impressive it's impressive like some of these transitions between the rhymes are happening in really clever ways so like when he went from um uh older colder shoulder into the next one which um brandish famished something like the transition and happening in the middle of the the line the transition between the the rhyme scheme i love that i love that i like to do that when i'm rapping uh so it's not like it feels more connected you know it's not just like okay i'm rap i'm rhyming these lines now now i'm rhyming these lines where the when you switch the rhyme that same line has the rhyme in it already that's so dope i love it i love it anyway this is this is this is great this is great i'm enjoying this a lot this is Really interesting. I'm very much on the edge of my seat anticipating my boy getting shot. I don't know if that's going to happen at the end because I don't know if he dies from shooting. I should have paid more attention in history class. I know. I was way more interested in world history than American history, to be honest, because, like, American history, not that interesting. For a long time, we was in chains. Let's be real. What's my boy talking about? One of them talked about that. Um, he going to ride in on a stallion with the first black battalion. That's that's hard. That's a bar. That's a bar. Anyway, back to the point. Uh, we was in chains for a lot of it. A lot of it has kind of been scrubbed, which might piss off some of you guys. I, I'm assuming Hamilton fans are big, like, American history buffs. But it's the truth. If you're an American history buff, you know a lot of our history has been uh, scrubbed clean. And uh, we know what happens. Like, clearly it worked out. Like, we're, we're still here, you know? It's not as interesting as world history where, like, countries literally cease to exist. Empires rise and fall. All types of different wars. It's just, it's more, world history is more interesting to me, personally. So, uh, I don't really know, like, all of these, like, intricate details, which maybe American history would be more interesting to me if I paid more attention. I don't know, but um, from the stuff I do know, this is this is, this is like so cool. This this is cool. This is cool. I like it. If you talk, you're gonna get oh, check what we got. Mr. Lafayette, hard rock like Lancelot. I think your pants look hot. Oh, am I talking too loud? Sometimes I get overexcited. Shoot off at the mouth. I never had a group of friends before. I promise that I'll make y'all proud. Let's get this guy in front of a crowd. Seven feet ahead of me. If I see it coming, do I run or do I let it be? Is it like a beat without a melody? Ask anybody why we living fast. Do we laugh? Reach for a flask. We have to make this moment last. That's plenty. Scratch that. Oh, okay. I was going to use a different example of him doing the transition of rhymes, but he actually faked me out. I thought it was going to be the 20 mini uh, ask any. And then uh, he went to something else. And I was like, okay, there's another example where he uses the like internal rhyme as a um, as a transition. They also used internal rhymes earlier with the Sally in, Stally in, Battalion part there. So that's that's really dope. Um, but he did it. It was like a it was like an A A A X A, which means like three lines rhyme, then a ri then a line didn't rhyme. Uh, it's like its own thing, and then another line rhyme. Point is. The rhyme scheme in this 
this particular thing is not boring. It's not just A, B, A, B, or A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, uh, where, for those of you who don't, haven't taken like a poetry class or don't know rhyme schemes, the, the letters correspond to lines that rhyme. So A, A would be the first two lines have uh, in rhymes or in words that rhyme together. And then B, B would be line three and four that have in rhymes that rhyme together, so on and so forth. And so that's like a common... Uh, rhyme scheme in, in songwriting. You also have like A, B, A, B, where line one and three rhyme together and line two and four rhyme together, which is like a common, like almost like a lullaby kind of vibe uh, with rhyming, but that's also very common in songwriting. This is like more A, 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 B, 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 A, X, B, C, C, C. It's like, you know, it's, it's a more intricate form of rhyming there's also a lot of lines in a row that rhyme together which again is something that i really like to do in my music it's kind of just like flexing like look at all these words i can make rhyme together in a way that actually makes sense um and so i i like this like the, the actual writing of this like put aside the great music the interesting dancing the the overall like interesting plot like i really want to see like where this goes because they are legit plotting like legit plotting but just like the, the the writing itself i think is really really dope in this another thing that i think is really really cool is these like little moments where the music quiets down a lot of stuff gets cut out and we're either hearing like snapping or i think at this point it's like rim shots which are like when you hit the little metal part on a snare where we get like kind of this internal monologue that he has and everybody freezes everything turns blue um I, th I think that's dope i think it's like an interesting way to like portray that as far as like what's happening outside of his head and what's happening inside of his head yeah this i, I really like this song i did this song in particular when i song two i missed at some point song one was really interesting this one right here is dope scratch that not a moment, it's the movement where up hungry as brothers with something to prove went. Foes oppose us, we take an honest stand, we roll like Moses. I know the action in the street is exciting, but Jesus, between all the bleeding and fighting, I've been reading and writing. We need to handle our financial situation. Are we a nation of states, what's the state of our nation? We pass patiently, waiting and passionately smashing every expectation, every action, the act of creation. I'm laughing in the face of casualties and sorrow. For the first time, I'm thinking past tomorrow. Okay, this, this is where I was supposed to pause for or stop for part one. This has been a very long video, but uh, time for the outro. Thanks for watching up to this point. Okay, yeah, that was great. That was, it was great. It was great. I get it already. We, we just started it and I already understand why people really, really like this. Uh, especially if you're like a history buff, like I get why this would appeal to you because like the interweaving of so much history and important history at that into the fabric of like all of this really great music. I think it's dope. I also think the storytelling being woven into like the choreography, the setting, the clothes, all of that, which is like typical of musicals, obviously, but it just, it just, pulls you in more you know this was this was really great i'm looking forward to part two and i'll be reacting to the songs in part two in the near future definitely make sure to like comment subscribe and share not to miss those thank you so much for watching up until this point it really does mean a lot to me so thank you thank you so much if you didn't make it all the way here to the ending definitely make sure to let me know in the comment section down below so i can thank you personally but in the meantime you have a great day and i'll be seeing all of you guys here on the show next time Peace. These guys no blues A new love, but we know that it accrues Like time in a QS shampoo New bamboo Much more of it will ensue I'm caught in This trance in the Of sinking down in the stew You change up the brew Now life tastes so brand new It's delicious like fondue Under the moonlight tonight Stars and hearts shimmering Shimmering You illuminate who I am You're a bad light You are I'm not